Hey, so today we're gonna to talk about inducing labor. I totally get you. When you're ready, when, when you're at the end, when you're over past the end, where you're a week overdue and two weeks overdue, I totally get you. I've been there many times. I have eight kids and I have to tell you that almost every one of them was overdue and overdue by far, you know? So I totally get you when you're ready at the end. So, um, you know, over the years, I've definitely tried a lot of natural, what I would call natural ways to induce labor. I've, I've danced, I've walked, I've been speed walking, which is no simple feat when you're two weeks overdue and you like waddle everywhere. I totally get that. I've bent over, you know, bent up and down over and over and running up and down the stairs. I've been intimate. I've, I've tried eating a lot of pickles. I've tried everything to induce labor naturally. I totally understand. I've been there, done that. Uh, at one point, I remember when I was two weeks overdue, I think it was the day before I went into labor with my first, I, I drove into a um, get gas at a gas station and the guy who worked there, he looked at me and he's like, lady, what month are you in? <laughs> I was like, my 10th. He was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, so when you're at the end, you can't wait already. So um, with my first, I actually went into labor after two weeks naturally. I couldn't believe it actually was going to happen. In fact, what happened was my my mother kept calling me every day saying, you know, just wait another day, just 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 a couple more days, just one more day, because um, Daddy and David are out on a movie shoot. My brother was in a movie and, and it kept taking, uh, it was longer than it was expected and they wanted to come for the baby and I was like, you know, hello, like what are you doing to me? Just one more day, just one. So the day that they were done, I was two weeks overdue and my mother said, okay, okay, you can have the baby now and I actually went into labor that night. I was like, oh. What, what kind of powers does my mother have? I don't know, <laughs> right? But with my second child, I was again two weeks overdue and the doctor said, okay, tomorrow I wanna see you in the hospital for induction. And uh, I was like, okay, induction, that means Pitocin uh, in the hospital with a drip and some people don't say such nice things about that. And uh, maybe there's something that I can do naturally to put myself into labor. Since last time I went into, natu into labor naturally, I'm sure I could do it again. So I did a bit of research and this is what I came up with, okay? The number one way of getting yourself into labor naturally is to drink the milk from a mother who's just given birth in the last couple of days. So you see, when you nurse your baby those first few days, your body naturally releases this drug called Pitocin into your body. Because when you nurse, your that Pitocin gets released and your stomach, your, your womb contracts. It, you have like small little contractions so that your womb will go back to normal size. You're like your womb is like this big and you want it to go back to like the little, you know, what it, what it used to be. So those first few days when you're nursing your baby, you're releasing a natural form of Pitocin. So if you can get your hands on some milk from a mother who just gave birth and drink some of that, then that drug will hopefully create those contractions in you and put you into labor. Now, did I ever try this? No, I wasn't really sure how to get my hands on some milk <laughs> from a mother who just had a baby, so I, I didn't try that one. <laughs> but I've heard that it works. Form number two of putting yourself into labor is to actually massage your nipples as if you're a baby um, sucking because again like we just said that when your baby sucks those first few days it creates contractions that contract your your womb down to normal size so if you can simulate a baby sucking on your breast then that can create the contractions that you need now I heard that it takes a long time to get you know to get this rolling and then it could contract you know cause a hard contractions so I never really tried this myself but I, I know a lot of people have done it and it is one of the forms of getting, you know, ways to get yourself into natural, la um, natural labor. Third way, which is the one that I opted for, is castor oil. Now, castor oil is not the most delicious thing in the world, but it works. It actually worked for me. Um, I use it for more than half of my labors and um, you just, you can get it in the pharmacy. It's a laxative. So, you know, you just go get yourself some castor oil. I suggest taking about two ounces. You don't want to take less than that because you won't get strong enough contractions and you don't want to take too much more than that because you don't want to have crazy strong contractions. Um, I know I did that one time with my fifth labor, the, the midwives in the hospital, like, you know, they gave me like a whole tray of a million like shot glasses and I drank like a lot of them and I had very, very strong labor. 
so it was a little bit too much to handle. So I suggest about two ounces is the right amount. Now you probably want to put this with some kind of uh, drink to mask the taste because you know it is castor oil and it's not so palatable. <laughs> it's not so tasty. So I personally put it in grape juice which has a very strong taste. It's easier to, to mask it or maybe orange juice or any whatever your favorite drink is to just uh, I wouldn't suggest just drinking it alone. It, you might end up throwing it up so you know it's probably a good idea. Um, for me it generally took about uh, between two and four hours till I would start feeling contractions from it. Um, but it worked like a charm just about every time. Now one other thing I do want to tell you is I say that it worked like a charm just about every time because, and I'm serious about that, four labors, it worked unbelievable. I was, I had contractions, I had labor, and I gave birth. It was amazing, really truly. One time it didn't work so well for me and I'll tell you why. I don't want you to make the same mistake as I did, okay? Every time except for one that I took castor oil, it was when I was well overdue and my doctor was saying time to go in for induction, okay? So then I was like, okay, so I'll just do it naturally. <laughs> I'll do it naturally and I'll have that baby. One time I thought to myself, it was I was having my seventh child and I thought to myself, you know, I've taken castor oil all these other times and it works but I, I waited till I was a week overdue or two weeks overdue. And why should I wait so long? It's my due date already. So why don't I just take my castor oil? My due date was the next day, actually. I said, so why don't I just take my castor oil now and I could just have the baby now. Why do I have to wait a whole extra week? You know, it's a torture at the end. You feel like a beached whale, <laughs> right? So um, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna take castor oil now. And that's what I did. I took my castor oil mixed to my grape juice and uh, a number of hours later I started getting you know, some contractions, a little bit stronger. And I figured, okay, great, we'll go on down to the hospital and we'll do the labor, the rest of the labor in the, in the hospital. And uh, we did, we went down to the hospital and they checked us out and I was only at like three centimeters and we figured, okay, it's coming soon, soon. And the contractions stayed constant, but they didn't get very strong. They didn't get as strong as they needed to. And not only that, but then they did need to give me real Pitocin. And it's all real Pitocin, but they gave me the Pitocin, you know, they uh, medicated with Pitocin through an IV. And uh, my labor went on for hours and hours on end and we, we weren't dilating, we weren't getting anywhere. And I came to the realization that my, ba my body, my personal body needs to be overdue my baby's not ready until I'm a week overdue usually. And I was trying to put myself into labor before my body was ready. So yes, I could create some you know, mild contractions, but I wasn't gonna create the full contractions that I needed to really fully dilate and get the baby out. So what I learned from this experience is don't put yourself into labor just because it's your due date or just because it's a week before your due date and you're uncomfortable. You gotta really know that your body's ready. You ask your doctor, find out really if this is the right thing to do because you don't wanna put yourself into mild labor because there's nothing worse <laughs> than mild labor because you're just, you're suffering but you're not going anywhere or you might be checked into a hospital and the, it's, it's not gonna help anything. It might, um, in that case with my seventh labor, um, they decided to break my water because they um, they said we have to you know make this this has to you know get going and they, they thought that breaking my water was gonna help but it didn't and then I started having fetal distress because all the fluid had gone out my baby was you know cramped and a uh, cord was stuck somewhere and then they were gonna send me for you know uh, I almost ended up in an emergency c-section but uh, in the end thank God everything worked out but uh, I highly suggest not doing that to yourself Take the, take the castor oil if you're overdue and your doctor suggests that you need to be in for induction. That's my advice to you. Congratulations, good luck, and I hope this video was helpful.